I am very uh, excited uh, to be here in the Vatican, uh, to have the opportunity to say a few words uh, to the Academy about the need for a moral economy in my country and around the world. We are seeing a handful of very, very wealthy people become wealthier, while most people are becoming poor. In fact, the top 1% of people on this planet now own more wealth than the bottom 99%. That, to me, is unacceptable. It is unsustainable. It is immoral. And together, we have got to change that. And I have been enormously impressed by Pope Francis speaking out and his visionary views about creating a moral economy, an economy that works for all people, not just the people on top. And what he has said over and over again, we cannot allow the market just to do what the market does. That's not acceptable. We have got to ingrain moral principles into our economy. And there is no area where that is clearer than in the area of climate change. The greed of the fossil fuel industry is literally destroying our planet. The scientists are virtually unanimous. Climate change is real and it is caused by human activity. It is already causing devastating problems all over this planet. And whether the fossil fuel industry likes it or not, we have got to transform our energy system away from fossil fuel to energy efficiency and sustainable energy. And what Pope Francis has told us over and over again is we have the wealth to do that. We have the technology to do that. We have the know-how to do that. But we have got to confront is the greed of people who are so much more concerned about their own billions than the future of the children and the future of our planet. So I am just so excited to be here, so proud to be here with other like-minded people who are trying to do our best to create a moral uh, economy. Uh, in this big dump of data coming out of Panama, that tax avoidance is a big global problem. It's not unique to other countries because, frankly, there are folks here in America who are taking advantage of the same stuff.